What's up, good people? It's your boy, Larry Jones. Sorry, I'm looking kind of rough today. Today, we want to cover uh, this stock, B no I N G O. <laughs> we're going to cover that stock. And then we're going to talk about some of the things that I think we should be doing in this month of April, okay? How we need to trade in the month of April, April, especially the first two weeks in April, so we can kind of protect some of our gains, all right, good people? That more. We're not going to play the intro. We're going to go right in it. Uh, I'm just going to keep this really short and then I'll talk afterwards because your boy has been going through some things. All right. Let's go into BNGO. Let's go right here to, to uh, the computer. BNGO. Uh, as we can see here, look at this. This is one of the things that I saw a few days ago. I'm covering this because you guys asked me to. The recent pullback in biogenomic uh, is a major buying opportunity. Bio nanogenomics is a major buying opportunity. That was three days ago. As you can see, it had a pullback of about 20%. All right. And it is a buying opportunity. I agree with them, uh, because it is, um, it's, it's always talk about investing in merging markets and, and gene therapy, um, um, anything that is gene altering is very futuristic. Um, they're, they're going to be able to do a lot of things. Uh, just think about 23 and me and what they're able to do with finding your, um, great grandparents and your great, great grandparents and being able to alter genes so that, you know, uh, her hereditary diseases, uh, could be found, you know, from your great, great grandmother, and then they could study it and then alter your genes. So you don't get the, you know, the disease. I know it sounds very crazy and futuristic, but it's the future. All right. So let's look at the price. So here I am on, um, Yahoo finance and Yahoo gives it a strong buy. All right. It's, it's between a buy and a strong buy. And as you can see here, it gives it an average of $10 and 94 cent and a high of 15. All right. But now let's go to tip ranks. And I know you see a lot of guys using tip ranks. Uh, to be honest with you, I've been using tip ranks for about seven months and I was using it last year and I was generally using it for my penny stock not to research after I do my research, I just try to see what the analysts say. And remember, there is no th one thing that's 100%, but I like tip ranks and I like the tools that they provide. And, um, they also have an average, as you can see here of 1433, but, uh, also a high of 15. All right. And then they have the here, you can see the analyst and then the best analyst is the same price, 1433 and 15. So if you take um, their average and their high and take Yahoo Finance average in its high, this is one of the things that Larry likes to do. And if you ex extrapolate all of that data, you have an average of around 1381. And I want to talk to you guys. Sorry, let me put this back. I want to talk to you guys about lowering your margins and making more money. All right. So now let me finish with this and then I want to come back to that. I'm looking to buy a few shares of this at uh, around seven dollars and eighty cents. I don't have any of this. I'm in this space with other stock, but I don't have any uh, B no I N G O. And um, I'm looking to get some, but I'm looking, I was looking to get some around um, uh, entry about $7.80 if it goes to $7.80. Now, if it drops to $7.30, that's my buy-in. I'm just going to get a few shares at about $7.80. There is no uh, technical reason. I just see that that is a fair number. But if it drops to $7.30, I see it's a sure for sure buy-in. So I may buy some if it dips to 780 and then I may buy like one third and then I'll buy the other two thirds um, um, when it gets to $7.30 because I want to be in this space long-term. But if you take both 
um, Yahoo Finance and tip ranks and you take both of their mid range and high range numbers, which is four different numbers and you combine them and extrapolate the data, you have an average, I'm calling this Larry's average of 1381, 1381. Now, the reason why I wanna bring that up because we're thinkers here, we don't, we're not in anybody's box, right? 1381 is a number that it may go to 15, all right? But if you lower your margins and make small profits, and make small profits on a lot of stock, you're gonna make more money, especially if you're a beginner, right? So it may not hit 15 and then turn around and, and fall back down to, to, to $7, and then you've missed, you've missed everything. It might go to $14, but if you sell it at 1380, you've made profit. So now, do you have to sell it all? No, let's start thinking about doing profit taking as we um, progress in the month of April, right? We need to do profit taking. Hear me, do some profit taking this month. It's a good habit to start, especially for those of you that are new. Now I know everybody's trying to hit a home run. We're trying to get $15 out of this stock, but just think about this. If you bought it where it is right now, all right, that's a 57% profit margin. That's 57%, right? From where it is now to 1381, that's a 57%. That's a home run, all right? So what happened is we've gotten greedy now. And so we wanna, we, we wanna hit a home run every time and get it at the, uh, buy it at the absolute bottom and sell it at the absolute top. That makes you a hog. And you know, hogs, hogs will get slaughtered. Bears make money, bulls make money, hogs get slaughtered. So don't be a hog, lower your margins. And that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to keep a little cash in the month, in this month. Now, every, everything is, is, is historically, it's a good month and it may be a bull month with some pullbacks. So we, we may go into a short, I think we're going to go into a short bull market, but there will be some pullbacks. We're not totally out of the woods right now. So what we should do Let's do some profit taking. And so I would say lower your margins, meaning don't try to get $15 out of it. Try to get 1381 out of it. It just makes you a smarter investor. I've learned that from a, a gentleman that was, um, he was investing for over 40 years, old gentleman. He's probably old as dirt now because that was many years ago when I met him. And he taught me this, he, he taught me this lesson and I made money you know, year, year after year doing this. Now I don't do this with everything. So I have long-term high growth stock as you guys know, but this is a good lesson, especially for those of you that's new. Hey, I am, um, I'm going to be providing a link. I'm going to be doing what's called tip ranks Tuesday. I am going to be providing a link and it is free to go into tip ranks, but then they also have a paid, um, 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 one that you could get even more information. And that's the one that I use. And I think about this, just like, um, 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 just like Weeble, the link that I'm going to provide below Weeble. Now, for those of you that just have a Robin hood, you need Weeble. Keep your Robin hood for your fractional shares, but with Weeble, you can trade pre-market and post-market. I started trading three and a half hours before the market opens. Okay, good people. Hey, that's 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 power right there. And then I got a couple of hours after it closes, I can still trade. So when you hear hot news, I was up, I was up five o'clock this morning uh, trading, and just got through trading, you know, an hour after the bell closed. So there's a link below. Click it. Deposit one hundred dollars. Get two free stocks. So let me tell y'all what's going on with me. This is crazy. For those of you that's been rolling with me for a while, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. I should have said that at the beginning. I'm gonna just run right through this one. So, you know, those of you know, I had an operation and they cut you, boy. And there's something about when they cut you, it just take, and I never went through anything like this. And I'm, a, I'm healthy as all get out. But it's a, 
it was an outpatient surgery that I needed. Right. So then I go, uh, uh, two weeks later after that, I mean, I'm in pain. My wife had to help me up. Like I was double over. And then two weeks later I go and get the COVID vaccine, me and the wife. And then the next day after that, it, we knocked out sore joints. So today I go to get my regular checkup from my doctor. And he's like, well, you know, you, you, you might need to get the, uh, uh, shingle shot. I'm like, what shingles vaccine? I'm saying, what's up? What's up with that? That's for old people. And he just looked at me like, I was like, dude, don't give me that look. <laughs> and, uh, so he gives me this and tells me it's going to wipe me out. I ain't gonna let y'all I'm wiped. And I've really been in a lot of pain and just been on, on, on painkillers for these last three weeks. And like, I've shot videos that I've had to look at like three and four times and make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Cause there were times where I had to reshoot videos three and four times. I would make the craziest, simplest mistakes, but I didn't want you guys to feel like I abandoned you, especially during hard times. So this Wednesday, I'm getting two wisdom teeth pulled <laughs> and a root canal. Just, I mean, I mean, I'm on a major pain tour, man. This is, it's crazy, but I'm doing, I'm taking care of everything right now on purpose because I want to live my best life. I want to be physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially on point. I want to live my best life so I can be good to you guys. Right? So pray for me as I go through that. And we trying to figure this out. I, I'm, I just, uh, and transitioning out of my other job and doing this 100% full time. And I need my wife's help also. So we're trying to make that work. So you guys are going to be hearing some, some new things from us and to help us do that. So I can help you guys make more money. All right. I'm going to leave it right there. Good people. Y'all know I love you and see, I feel better that I talk with you guys. I know I look rough, but I, I feel better that I talk to you guys. I love you guys. And, uh, listen, there is a video that I did for those of you that are new. And I talked about seven things that new beginners, seven big mistakes that new beginners make. I want you to please listen to that and look, view at, view it because even if it's just one that will help you, I want you guys to be savvier investors. Okay. We're going to do profit taking properly. All right. We're not going to be greedy. We're going to do profit taking on some of these stocks. And now some of these stocks we're holding long. My EVs, I'm holding three to five years. All right. But there are some stocks that I'm buying and I'll be selling in a week or two or a month. All right. So we want to make money, but we want to keep some money. All right. We don't want a, a, a correction, another correction to happen and we lose all our gains. So we're going to go through this together. Okay. Good people. Sorry. I'm keep rolling on. All right. Make sure you guys watch this video. Live, love, laugh, and learn.